Hello, so we've got literal equations here and we've got five examples that we're going to do together. I would encourage you to write these five examples as a note so you've got a good reference. So the first example one, V equals U plus AT and we need to solve for T. Now, when we need to solve for T, the unknown, it can be on the right or the left hand side, it doesn't matter. So we're going to leave it on the right hand side. So we take the u across to the other side and it becomes v minus u and then we just need to get rid of the a so we then divide by the a. So the answer is t equals v minus u over a. Now we're going to move on to number 2. px squared plus qx equals 0 and we're going to solve for x. Now the first thing we need to note is that it's a quadratic which means there's going to be two answers remember quadratic is squared x squared so because x now is in two different places it's over there and over there the way that we get it into one place is we factorize we take out the common x so if we take out a common x we are left with px plus q equals zero and because x is in two places we're going to have two answers so either x is going to be equal to 0 or px plus q is going to be equal to 0. And to solve for x in the second one, we take the q across, becomes minus q, and then we divide by the p to get your final answer of minus q over p. Let's move now to number 3. Now, if we look at number three, it's the first one with a fraction. F equals mv squared over gr, and we have to solve for g. Now, because g is in the denominator, we need to get it to the numerator. So what we do is we multiply both sides by the denominator, which is gr. So when I multiply by gr, I get gr on that side, and it's cancelled on that side. And then if we need to solve for G, I take the F and the R to the other side. I divide by FR and then my final answer is G equals MV squared over FR. Then we move on to number 4. X squared plus 2XY minus 8Y squared equals 0. Now, if you look at this one and you think about an approach, I have x there and I have x there. But what we can also notice is that this has got three terms and it's a trinomial. So what we do in this case is we solve the trinomial. We factorize the trinomial and we get x plus 4y, x minus 4, sorry, x minus 2y. And then we need to work with each bracket independently. Work with this one. And then I also need to work with that one over there. So x plus 4y is equal to 0. Or x minus 2y is equal to 0. And then to solve for x, I just take the 4y across. Becomes minus 4y. And I take the 2y across. And it becomes 2y. Sorry, I took the minus 2y across. Becomes 2y. So once again, it's quadratic, so there are two solutions. Let's finish off now with number five. Now in number five, we've got one over u plus one over v equals one over f. And we need to solve for v, which is sitting over here. Now v is in the denominator. And the, whenever we have an equation with the unknown in the denominator, we need to find the LCD and then multiply each term by the LCD. So in this case, my LCD is going to be the U, the V, and the F. Remember, it's all the different ones. So my LCD is going to be U, V, F, and I times it by each term. When I times it by each term, remember the U cancels with the U, and I'm left with V, F. The V cancels with the V, and I'm left with UF. 
and the f cancels with the f and i'm left with uv now i've lost the fraction form and i need to solve for v now v is sitting there and there so we need it on the same side so we take this across and becomes uv minus uv and i take the uf across oops that should have been a minus okay so we're going to add a minus in there and then i take out a common i factorize here and take out a common v so i'm left with f minus u and on this side i have my minus uf and then my final answer i want to solve for v so i need to divide by the f minus u and i take it across and i divide by f minus u but don't forget that minus there and that will be my final answer okay now what i would suggest is that you copy these down these five examples as nice points of reference and then after this you've got your homework which will be on itunes u okay bye